The templates in Risa 3D make it easy to quickly generate structures with complex geometry. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a dome using the templates in Risa 3D. We'll go ahead and start with a fresh blank model. You can access the templates from the Home tab on the Ribbon toolbar. You might see that we have a geodesic dome option available. However, in this video, I'm going to show us how to create a more linear type dome structure using the circular arc template. Here we're presented with a graphical input dialog, which makes it easy for us to understand and input variables. Here I have the option to specify a rotation axis. We're going to keep it at Z. We're going to rotate about the Z axis. We can specify the number of arc increments. I'm going to reduce this to 15. And I'm going to specify an arc radius of 10 feet. We'll maintain a 90 degree sweep angle. And we also have the option to specify the polar origin. In this instance, we'll leave that at zero as well. In this video, my dome is going to be comprised of plates, so I don't necessarily need to generate members as a part of this circular arc. I only want the nodes. So in this instance, I would just leave the section set option set to none. I'll go ahead and press OK, and then you'll see a new 3D view pop up with our circular arc generated with our nodes. I can click into my previous 3D view and see that as well. I'm gonna come into my drawing tools tab and I'm gonna disable the display grid. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna left click with my mouse and select all of my nodes so that I can copy rotate. So once I've selected all of my nodes, the model will automatically put me in the Modify tab on the Ribbon toolbar, and I'm going to choose the Copy Rotate tool. For this part of my dome, I'm going to create one sliver or one slice of my dome. So I'm going to start rotating about the Y axis now. So I'm going to change this to Y. And for my rotation angle, I'm going to specify just one increment to start. And since I've already decided that I want 80 increments to make up the circumference of my 360 degree dome, I'm gonna go ahead and just divide 360 by 80 and that'll give me a four and a half degree rotation angle. We'll keep our number of increments set to one. I have the option to click to locate an origin, but we're gonna keep that same origin that we specified in the circular arc template and I'm gonna set those all to zero. I'll now choose to apply to selected and I can switch into our isometric view so we can see that sliver of nodes created. Now that we have one sliver of nodes making up our dome shape, we can go ahead and start drawing plates. To draw plates, we'll come to the home tab on the ribbon toolbar and choose the plates option. And I'm gonna change the material type to generic steel and I'm gonna make it a half inch thick. And we can go ahead and start clicking these nodes to generate our plates. You'll notice I'm using four nodes to generate my plates. This is preferred in Risa 3D since Risa 3D bases its plate theory on four corners and four sides. However, it is possible to use triangular plates in Risa 3D which you'll see at the top, will be forced to draw a triangular plate. If you're interested in learning more about Risa 3D's plate theory, there's more information on our help file, which you can access online, or you can quickly press the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of Risa 3D, and it'll take you directly to the help file. So the reason I drew just one sliver here of plates is to demonstrate how quickly we can generate these complex structures when we utilize the powerful tools in Risa, such as the template tools, as well as the copy rotate tools. So when you use those two things in conjunction, you can really utilize the full power of Risa 3D. So now that I have all of my plates drawn for that one sliver, we're gonna wanna utilize that copy rotate tool again. So I'll go ahead and select 
all of my plates and my notes. I'm gonna choose that copy rotate feature again. So we'll wanna be sure to change this rotation axis back to Y. We're gonna change our rotation angle since we know that the dome is 360 degrees and we already have created four and a half degrees. We'll go ahead and subtract four and a half from 360 and we'll get 355.5 degrees. And since we already have one increment of our total 80, all we need to do is say 79 increments. So I'll go ahead and choose the apply to selected option and you can quickly see the rest of our dome structure generated. We can quickly add boundary conditions by snapping into that elevation view and I can left click and select all of those bottom nodes at the base of the dome and I can assign boundary conditions by going to the home tab, selecting boundary conditions and in this instance I'm going to choose pinned. I can choose apply to selected and you'll see those boundary conditions automatically applied at the base of my dome. We can get a better view of our dome if we go to the view tab, select model view settings, and on the plates tab, we can choose rendered. And I always like to switch this up to 100. Go ahead and select OK, and you get a really nice picture of the dome structure. Now it's at a place where you can begin to apply loads, create load combinations, and analyze your dome structure. For more information on RISA 3D, visit RISA.com.